here looking at the the second section of the uh, of the head. Just to carry on the example I've been giving, um, this part was with the uh, the C minor flat five minus seven flat five to the F seven in the head. So I'm going to just use the same figure I did in the first part. Going up five, six, uh, sorry, six, seven, nine on the B string. And then returning to what I did in the original head at the end of every phrase. Again, it's a little trick, but um, it really helps the audience uh, not get lost. Because the big criticism of playing jazz is that the audience gets lost when the guy solos. And uh, if you come back to the head or the, or the theme, the main theme of the melody that they've heard, then they don't get lost. Then we have this little part. I just keep that in again to keep the audience on, on track. And then the little rundown. I would just arpeggiate in sort of a random arpeggio, but repeating whatever pattern I pick. does not have to be fancy, it does not have to be fast. In fact, it really, <laughs> most times, it shouldn't be. It's really more, uh, I think embellishment is probably a better word, unless you're John Coltrane. <laughs>